All right, so in object mode, I'm gonna shove this up just a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is have that up. That way I can mark off where the teeth are. Jump into sculpt mode and start marking up some teeth. So the thing about this is sometimes it's symmetrical, sometimes it's not. And that orthographic view sucks with uh, the teeth. Let me just tell you that. So I might just choose to take the symmetry right off. And so I'm just kind of marking off where I think teeth. Jump into the side view, do the same thing. You can see they're starting to line up. And then if I do control three, it'll switch over to the other side, but I have no way of telling what's going on. So I'm just gonna ad lib that area. Something like that. Then I might just take this whole object right here and just put it over to the side so I can work on it and still look at my teeth. Hide this one. And I guess this is where, you know, the rubber meets the road. Got to be able to draw in this business. So I'm just going to kind of loosely sketch these in. Develop a technique here. I got all kinds of resolution in this area, so I'm not really even worried about messing up. Anything that I do can be undone or flattened. So what I'm going to do is just go to town on this stuff. I don't agree with what I laid down there, so I'm just going to... Catch some teeth in. Okay, again, just 
kind of roughen these in. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of an inflate on these things. Okay, a little bit of smooth to smooth out these cracks. Yeah, I know. Boring, right? Hey, hey, you asked for it. You'd be surprised. Some students actually watch this stuff. <laughs> I could tell jokes, but I'm really bad with the whole, you know, I got that dry sense of humor where I point out the obvious and you're like, oh, that's funny because it's the obvious. Okay, so here we go. Pinch. Pinch some of this stuff. Oh, and I'm varying up the pinch brush too. I'm changing the size as I go. Uh, when it meets two teeth, I kind of make it bigger. And when I meet to crack, I make it smaller. Oh, and by the way, you can, you know, what you could do with this stuff is if you're using VLC player, you can increase the speed. So it's all up to you. So I don't want to hear the, the obviously internet weirdo that just says, hey, you should make this uh, one of those one videos where you time lapse. You should make this into a time lapse video. I would say to you that, you know, VLC player works really well for that. Good luck. Okay, now kind of zoom out. Now that I get all the teeth in, I can start working on 
forming them so it doesn't look like he's uh, from a country that doesn't support dentistry, maybe? So I'm just going to grab these around. Form them. Some delicate work here. So far, I like the pinch brush the best for this. Okay, I'm going to put these back in the skull. I'm going to turn the preview up so I can see them. And then I'm going to turn the top preview up a little bit too. So that's the difference between preview and sculpt, or pre yeah, preview and sculpt. And the fact that I can preview just the top and bottom part right here in a different resolution. And that speeds up your machine quite a bit. And it's a fine thing. You gotta just, yeah, there we go. All right, now I'm just going to F grab these and kind of put them in a good formation. So I switched over to one on the keyboard. And I really do want to kind of use symmetry here with the LF grab. Turn symmetry off. So when I'm touching these things, I am barely touching them. Barely.
And whenever I use a tool, uh, take that tool and turn it way down. Because all the tools are really strong for stuff like this. A little polish here. If you're used to using a program called ZBrush, uh, you would understand the difference. Because in ZBrush, everything is, it feels smooth, real smooth, in fact. But for $600, it better be smooth. <laughs> and that's why I want to teach this via Blender, only because, you know, the average student just coming off the street is not going to be able to afford a $600 program to sculpt things. Even though it is an amazing program, love it to death. Glad I own it. Yeah. I got it when I was 50 bucks, to believe it or not, because it was in generation 1.5 when I first received it. And then after that, it's free updates for life. So I bought stock. Okay, so warning anything that you might change in this area, you will have to go and do the incomplete process, so smoothing it, pinching it. So if you want to strengthen up some of these grooves and cracks, you have to you have to do that whole process over again. So be very careful what you change. All right, 16 minutes in, time to go to the next video.